Hey guys, in this video, this is a common problem we find with some of the older Hondas where I was going to program with the Smart Pro, the customer's key, our key, and then the transponder, but then we had an issue where the Smart Pro wouldn't work. So we did plan A and plan B and plan C. So plan A with the Smart Pro didn't work. So we are able to program the remotes manually. They're going to be, a, it's a Honda CRV 2009 combo key. The remotes work fine. I was able to clone this key, this chip, with an X-Horse. Cool, simple, I, I popped it out and I, I popped that in, cool. So that one's good, this one's good, and this key's good. But then I noticed this one, I, I couldn't program the immobilizer right away because the Smart Pro wouldn't work. So I had to use an X-Horse to clone a chip like I did for here. But the problem you're gonna encounter with some of the older Hondas is this. You're gonna take that off, there's no battery in there. Put the buttons aside so you don't lose them. And then you're going to see this. This is gonna be like the onboard immobilizer transponder ship. And this is the new way. So I already checked, I took this key blade and this chip, I held it in there and I, it's a loud truck. So I took this combo and I, I cranked it in the ignition and it worked fine. So the key blade works, the transponder chip works. I just need to make it fit together in this combo key. So how am I gonna do this? I've done this before, I have pictures, but I wanna show you guys in a video, it's pretty cool. So I need to somehow make this fit in there and then assemble it. So let's go ahead and look. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and it kind of goes against your, your thought process, but I'm gonna just twist and firmly shear off like so. And I'm gonna stick that over there. Don't need that. If there's another little debris, I can try to take that off, but that is fine, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assemble this back to how it was and put it back and I'm gonna say, okay, I gotta put the chip in there. But it doesn't fit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a pair of like wire cutters and I'm just gonna cut. So I'm gonna kinda of place this on here. I can get a Sharpie and that makes it easy. And I'm just gonna go, okay, cut there and I'm gonna to cut to there, kinda of look at that. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm gonna cut a smidge more. And put that to the side. And now I'm just gonna get my wire cutters. I'm gonna go in, intersect, cut. And I'm gonna go up here and cut. So it's nice, clean. Let's see if it somewhat fits in there. Yeah, it might. Let's go ahead and put it together. Put that on. Okay, and let's see if it fits in the shell body. Ideally, you wanna spend this much effort on a, a good looking, good working key. But this is a really good video, so let's go ahead and close it up. Cool. So that's how you're gonna do that. So now when I put this back together and add that fancy tape, this person can use this key and they can still start the vehicle. It was all taped up because there's no battery in there, but now they can use this to start the vehicle. So that's a really cool way I by cutting out that plastic and taking out that transponder chip. So once again, if we look at it, we essentially cut or break off the transponder chip. We make room for the X-Horse chip and see how it kind of mimics the plastic section. And I can cut a little more there to make it a little more snug but that's fine. And now it's able to be that remote immobilizer module 
and stick it in there and it works. So hopefully that makes sense and that's really useful when it comes to cloning those older Honda keys. So again, ABC, the first option, Smart Pro didn't work. We had, we noticed there's OBD port connections and not, not working, it's not connected. It's on, automatically failing. So we programmed the remotes manually, four times, unlock four times, all that, cool. We are able to clone this because it's just a regular chip, but we had to take this one off to put that chip in there and cut the plastic to make it fit. So hopefully that makes sense. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye.